Okay, one last thing to talk about for mirrors, and then we're going to switch to lenses the next day I see you. And that last thing is something that's called spherical aberration. And it's actually like a phenomena that happens in mirrors because of their shape. All right, so let's go back and think of a concave mirror. In a concave mirror, we know that rays coming in parallel to the principal axis should reflect in such a way that they come out through F. Okay? We know that. It, we've been using this. But what spherical aberration is, is that sometimes the rays that are hitting the outer edges of the mirror out here aren't getting bent enough to actually pass through F. And so instead they pass just slightly inside F, on the mirror side of F. Okay, so the ones that are hitting the outer edges kind of miss F. Whoops, that one's kind of crooked. But they kind of miss F, okay? And the result is that you don't get a clear image because they're not all concentrated perfectly in one, at one point. You get a blurry image. Okay, so a definition of uh, spherical aberration is that rays from the outer edge of the mirror, cro uh, parallel light rays from the outer edge of the mirror, st uh, striking the outer edge of the mirror, get reflected in such a way that they cross the principal axis closer to the mirror. They miss F. And the result is an image that's blurry, that's not in sharp focus. It's kind of like when your eyes aren't working well because you're really tired and like you blink them to try to get them clearer. Okay, so the image is slightly blurry. Now you can minimize this um, in a few ways. One way is to like you try to only use the center of the, the mirror to try and not let any of your light rays hit the outer edges, but to only use the center. That's one way. And it's the way that we would do it if we were doing a lab, because the other way is instead of using a spherical mirror, it would be to use a parabolic mirror. Because a parabolic mirror doesn't have the same radius of curvature all the way around. Its radius of curvature would change and then because of that, it could send the light rays in so that they're passing through F. Now, um, parabolic mirrors are really expensive, okay? And so because of that, we don't often have parabolic mirrors in school. But like the Hubble spacecraft and places like that would use parabolic mirrors to get rid of this spherical aberration. Speaking of the Hubble spacecraft, I'm assuming you, or Hubble telescope, I'm assuming you've all heard of it. Um, when they were making the Hubble telescope and they were, they were um, forming the lens, forming the mirror, they messed up a little bit. So there's a cool part on page 371 in your text that says, uh, I'm just looking for it, makers of the mirror in the Hubble telescope made an error in grinding the glass. The error was about two micrometers, so two times 10 to the sixth meters. Okay, so they ground it too fine, so their focal point was off by two times 10 to the negative six meters. And are you ready for this? So that's about the thickness of a human hair. The re it resulted in spherical aberration in the mirror, so that as a result, it only focused 15%, 1,5% of the light into a tiny spot, not the 70% it was supposed to. So an error of 2 times 10 to the negative 6 meters changed the efficiency of that microscope from 70, per, or that telescope from 70% to 15. Needless to say, that I'm sure there were a number of jobs lost over that one. And I am quite sure that they would have had to redo that mirror because why would you put it up in space getting only 15% of the light instead of 70? And I suspect it was an error that probably cost, like we're talking million dollars or so. 
Okay? So that's spherical aberration. So it's a phenomenon that happens in mirrors where the light rays that are hitting the outer edge are not getting bent enough, right? Because they have to follow that law of reflection where the angle of incidence has to equal to the angle of reflection. Uh, so they're not getting bent enough to pass through F. And so at this spot, instead of getting a nice clear image, you get a bl blurry image, okay? To fix it, Send the, use only the center part of the mirror for those of us who can't afford a parabolic mirror. But if you can afford a parabolic mirror, go with that instead. Okay? When I see you again, we'll start lenses.